Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. All praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, which is to say in the Paleo Hebrew, Yahweh, the name of the Heavenly Father, meaning He is Bahashem, meaning in the name Yahweh Shai, meaning He is our salvation to the so called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans here in the Western Hemisphere and to the rest scattered abroad throughout the four corners who look like the other nations, but through the patrilineal lineage, go back to the Hebrew Israelites. The Fowler's Snare. The Fowler's Snare. And we're going to go into scripture on that word. And this is from the form, you know, you can see it in the top corner, the form.org. And it headlines reads, how digital identity can improve lives in a post C19. You see the last word. So there's a particular piece of this article that caught my eye that I want to share to show you how the Fowler, you know, who's in charge, is going to set his snare and is going to get a lot of people to, you know, comply to it. So let's scroll down and let's just jump straight to the point. Okay, so the point that's being, you know, spoken of in this article is, you know, coming up into this paragraph right here where it says the risk, the risk of doing nothing. It says the cost of not pursuing digital identities is high. Being able to digitally prove claims is vital to enable paperless, contactless, streamlined processes across public and private sectors. Sadly, the C, and you see what the word says, has shown many cases of fraud applications for grants from bogus organizations selling non-genuine tests to citizens, setting up fake companies, or enlisting fake directors to harvest data. In the UK alone, Policy Exchange estimates that fraud and error could cost the government between 1.3 billion to 7.9 billion okay and in american that's 1.8 billion you know in the u.s dollar to 10.8 billion so we see through you know the c1 that a lot of companies were you know claiming to you know get these loans these personal protection equipment these ppe loans and they were not who they were saying they were being so through the, you know, through the advent of these digital identities, you're going to have to prove who you are. So you won't be able to, you know, falsely make claims to get money that don't belong to you or get loans that you don't have the uh, intention on using for. You know, in, order, in other words, scamming. So these digital identities are going, you know, prove to who you say you are whether it's publicly or whether it's private you know you know publicly meaning the everyday individual and private meaning these big companies these organizations you know you're going to have to prove your identity you know and say who you are and pretty much it's going to be biometric and these digital IDs are nothing but you know the mark they're going to put everything on them so this mark is going to encompass everything. And what I'm going to show you next is the things that this digital ID, which is going to be, you know, translated over into the mark, if not already come out as the mark, what, you know, you're going to need to conduct business or be on this man's grid. And that's why I say the Fowler snare. And like I said, we're going to go into that word Fowler and you know we're going to see exactly what it means so here it is so as you can see this is the snare that the fowler is going to lay, uh, lay excuse me this is the snare that the fowler is going to lay in order for you to keep on the grid you're going to have to get this digital id this mark 
that's going to encompass everything that you see here. Now, you can see starting at the top is healthcare. So in order for you to use healthcare, you're going to have to have a digital ID, a biometric to prove who you say you are, you know? And that biometric is going to be placed in between your thumb and your finger, your pointer finger, right there in your right hand. So it says for users to access insurance, treatment, to monitor health device, wearables, for care providers to demonstrate their qualifications. So you can see for healthcare, you're going to have to have your biometric or your digital ID, which is going to be that mark. You're going to have to have that to show proof. Going to the right, it says financial service to open bank accounts to carry out online financial transitions. So in order for you to have a active bank account you're going to have to prove who you are with biometrics digital id which is going to be encompassed on that mark it says for food and sustainability for farmers and what consumers to verify what does it say providence of produce to enhance value and traceability and supply chains so he causes all you know both small and great, rich and poor. So for bigger organizations, you're going to have to have proof. So this thing is going to trickle down for, uh, trickle down from every aspect of life, you know, in order for you to be part of this, you know, society and be on this grid, you're going to have to have proof of your biometric, you know, which is a digital ID, which is going to be that mark. So it says travel and, more, travel and mobility to book trips, to go through border control between countries or regions. You're gonna to have to have proof with biometrics of your digital ID, which is that mark. So you can see where this is going at. Pretty much he's locking up every avenue of whatever it is that you've known up until this point that you're gonna to have to have proof of, which is that biometric digital ID, which is what? That mark. So you see it. It says humanitarian response to access service to demo it says to access service to demonstrate qualification to work a foreign what a foreign country so if you want visas if you come in to go and work in different countries you have to have proof okay so there's no getting away there's no getting around this you're going to have to have biometric proof digital id the the mark to show exactly who you are because fraud is a key thing, man. There's a lot of people that's claiming who they are and they're not. So this system that's going, you know, be up and running is going to be based on biometrics and saying and proving that who you are is who you are. It says e-commerce to shop, to conduct business transactions and secure payments. So this is going to encompass on this digital ID, this biometric this mark is going to have everything on it you can see everything is being covered right here in this overview on this you know website which you've seen that they can't deny that it is because it's on their website and you've seen it and you're reading it right here firsthand social platforms so those of you who want to continue to be on social platforms you're going to have to prove and say who you are no longer can you make a fake account you know and use the social platforms in that you know regards no you're going to have to have proof you're going to have to have biometrics this digital id this mark which is going to encompass it it's going to encompass it all it says e-government let's go back to social platforms it says for social interactions to access third-party services that rely on social media logins so this is a new thing that's coming too, you know, biometrics, digital ID, is gonna be encompassed to your biometrics. You know, once they insert that into your hand, it's gonna, you know, say who you are, okay? There's no getting around, letting somebody else use your password, and no, everybody's gonna be held accountable for their own, you know, biometric, their digital ID, the mark e-government for citizens to access and use services file taxes vote collect benefits okay 
So you seeing where this thing is going at, it's covering every aspect. You're not going to be able to get around it. You want to file taxes. You want to receive Social Security. You want to, you know, get any kind of benefits from the government. You're going to have to have proof of who you are. Digital ID, biometric, you know, it's going to be put it right in your right hand. Okay, so there's no getting away. There's no getting around this. It's coming. And this is the mark. It's showing you it's going to have everything. Telecommunications. For users to own and use devices for service providers to monitor devices and data on the network. So if you want the internet, you want to use any form of Wi-Fi, you're going to have to have proof. In order for you to connect to that data network, you're going to have to have proof of who you say you are. You're not going to be able to share your internet provider with anybody else. You know, it's going to be designed and specifically for you, the user, with your biometric, your digital ID, because they're going to hold everybody accountable, okay? See, this thing is going to extremes that we've never seen before. Everybody's going to be held accountable for what they do and what they say online, in person. You know, it's going to be all controlled and monitored by what? Biometrics, digital ID, and that thing is going to be put on, you know, a size of a grain of rice and insert it into your right hand it's going to be designed it's going to be designed specifically for your biometrics smart cities it says to monitor devices and sensors transmitted data such as energy usage air quality traffic congestion and you're not going to be able to go into these smart cities without having this mark on you inside of you i meant to say Okay, because everything is going to be monitored in these smart in these smart cities or these fifteen minute cities is going to be all ran digital. Okay, everything is going to be digitalized. What whether you go into a store, you know, whatever you do, it's going to be monitored. You're going to be held accountable. Okay, so this is the age of technology we getting ready to go into completely, a hundred percent digital. Everything monitored and tracked and held accountable for that individual by their biometric or their digital ID, which is the mark. Okay, so you see how it's going to encompass it all. We went around the clock from healthcare to financial services to food and sustainability to travel and mobility to humanitarian response, e commerce, social platforms, e government to telecommunications and smart cities. So you can see how this. You know, this individual, this individual, speaking of Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, is putting together his, you know, his next phase. All right. So this mark is truly coming to about, you know, and they have already been working on it and they've already got it prepared. They just waiting on that next event, that crisis that's going to allow them to roll it out. OK, so let's go into some of the scriptures and let's get it. Okay, this is Psalms 124, and we're going to jump down to verse 6, and it says, Blessed be Yahweh, who have not given us as prey to their teeth. Right, because they just, you know, chopping at the fact that they're going to get a lot of people who don't know what's going on. You know, they chomping at the idea that a lot of people are going to come down to them pursuing Isaiah 31st. Woe to them, they go down to Egypt. You know, they're going to go down to Egypt and... They're going to take this mark because they're going to fall into the, what, the foul of snare. It says, our soul, verse 7, our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers. And let's go into that word fowlers. The Hebrew word 3369. Strong's H 3369. Yakosh. 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 In the outline of biblical usage to lure, entice, snare, lay a snare, or lure, set a trap. To lay snares figuratively of devices of wicked. See, these are devices of wicked because in order for you to continue to use the devices you're gonna to have to put this wicked device inside your you know inside your your hand 
It says, Fowlers, to be ensnared, be caught by a bait. And you've seen what bait he's going to use. He's going to use everything that you know up until this point. What did, what did, what did we read? Healthcare, e commerce, uh, e government. You know, he's going to use it all. He's using all this bait, and he's going to get a lot of these birds that he's going to catch off this bait. Okay? And the last one says to be entrapped. So he's using this mark as bait, you know, in order for you to continue to stay on his grid, you're going to have to take this mark and get whatever it is, service that he's offering you. And we read and we went through a list of services. So those services are going to be used to bait individuals who have no clue on what's going on okay so going back it says our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers right because why we read it in the verse above blessed be yahweh who've not, who have not given us as prey to their teeth because he's not going to give everybody over to the teeth of this devouring lion okay his elect, the one third is going to escape out of it. But the rest, yeah, the two thirds, he's going to give over to them because they're going to take it because they have no clue on what's going on. So it says, verse seven, our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken and we are escaped. OK, so we escape through this truth, through knowing what's going on, through, through having the wisdom and stability spoken of in Isaiah, the 33rd chapter. Okay, which should be the stability of our time. Wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of our time. We are keeping in this truth and this wisdom and knowledge, and we know exactly what to look for in these last days. Okay, so verse 8 says, Our help is in the name of Yahweh, who made heaven and earth. So, you know, we see exactly what's going on, and we are preparing ourselves for this. This is Psalms. Sixty-four, and let's just jump down to it verse 2 it says hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity now we know according to Job 9 and 24 the earth is given into the hand of the wicked he covered the faces of the earth thereof if not him then who is that the wicked is speaking of is Esau Edom the so called white man now we know his secret councils. He have these things such as the, you know, the W E, or the U. So I'm putting these together. You know, I'm not saying the last part. So you know, you don't get hit with any kind of whatever YouTube want to use against you. But you know, these are the secret councils, and these are just some of the ones we are privy to because we don't know all their secret councils. But we know enough, or was shown enough, to be you know aware, so that we can you know, move accordingly. It says, hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked. And one of the secret counsels of the wicked, you know, I showed you in the beginning was that form, you know, and we read and seen how they're going to lay, you know, bait or snare for those who don't know what's going on. Three, who wet their tongue like a sword. And when you go into that word wet, it's sharpened. So who sharpened their tongue like a sword? And what is their tongue? Their tongue is how they speak the words. Their words is these laws that they put into effect. You know, they sharpen their words. They sharpen these laws that they're going to put on books and put that you have to have this in order to come into this, you know, city. Or you have to have this to receive health care. You know, this is going to be the new, you know, law or word per se in order for you to receive services, you're going to have to have this new digital ID, this biometric, you know, this mark. In order for you to receive whatever it is that they're giving you, this is what you must have to obtain it. So it says, who wet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words, you know. So these words, these laws, you know, are going to be bitter, you know. It's going to be in complete opposition of what the truth says you know we're not supposed to take this mark so it's going to be bitter words that they may shoot in secret at the perfect 
suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares privately. They say, who shall see them? See, they, in these secret councils, in these secret, you know, meetings, you know, they come up with these things privately. And by the time they materialize and bring them out to the public, they already have the reaction that they need so they can go on to their next phase, okay? So they use they usually uh, refer to these secret councils as think tanks. This is where they go and they think how they're going to, you know, see or lay out the landfill or the landscape for the next 10, 15 years. That's why they're saying by 2030, they're expecting everybody to, you know, be completely digitalized. But who's to say they have that much time? You know, because they have but a short time. So they're going to have to speed up this process quicker than what they want. So it says they encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares privately. That's what they do in their, in their so-called think tanks. When they think about how they want to project the you know, layout for the next 10, 15 years for society. They say, who shall see them? They search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. And that's how they do. You know, they search out iniquities. How can we continue to have the people of the book sin so they don't have that hedge on them? They say they search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep. And that's all they do. They just think, how can we make this more evil than it is from the day before? Seven, but the Most High shall shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly shall they be wounded. Right, because the Most High is going to put a plan, going to put an end to their plan. It tells us that in St. Matthew 24 and the 22nd verse. If it's not being for the elect, let's go there. This is St. Matthew chapter 24, and let's go down to verse 22. And it says, And except those days shall be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. And if Yahweh didn't wound them, you know, and put them away, they would completely, you know, man, you don't know how far they would take this thing, man. I did a video how they want to, you know, switch out heads and put different heads on different people you know their their evilness is deep there's no end to what they're willing to do okay so back to psalm 64 and verse 7 it says but the most high shall shoot at them with an arrow suddenly shall they be wounded right <laughs> Eight, so they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them sh shall flee away. And you seeing that more and more that their own tongue is falling, up, falling up, uh, upon them. Because you seeing their own people, you know, reveal and tell and, you know, just come out right and say who they are. You know, and these so-called whistleblowers, you know, is revealing this. They, their uh, plans, you know, it's all being foretold right there in front of you. We just breaking it down according to biblical prophecy. It says, verse 9, And all men shall fear and shall declare the work of the Most High, for they shall wisely consider of his doing. 10, the righteous shall be glad in Yahweh and shall trust in him, and all the upright in heart shall glory. So you should be glorying if you upright, you know, in, in the heart. So, you know, this is the time that we're looking forward to. We're waiting for this man to implement this mark, you know, because this is part of prophecy. And we know in order for us to receive the kingdom, this must be, you know, mandated. Pursuant to Revelation, let's just go there. 13. And verse 16. And it reads, and he causes. And when you read, and when you go into that word causes, let's just go there. That's the Greek word 4160. 
Strong's G, 4160, Poyeo. 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 And the first one is to make. So he's going to make, he's going to mandate, he's going to mandate that you have to have this, you know, in order to do business. So going back, when it says, and he causes all, he's going to mandate, this is going to be law. We read that he wet his tongue, you know, he sharpened his tongue as a sword. He's going to mandate this. He's going to make this a law. And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads so you're going to have to have this mark this digital id this biometric in order to do business on his grid and we've seen the grid encompass it all so in order for you to do business you're going to have to have this mark in your right hand or in your forehead and that no man might buy or sell okay and we read that and on the overview of this platform on what he want to do with this digital id this biometric system which is going to be the mark and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name here is wisdom let him that let him that have understanding count the number of the beast for it is the number of a man his number is six hundred three score and six all right so this is where we at you know he's preparing privately in his secret chambers his secret council that he's looking for the right time to bring this thing out he's already had it out you know he's already had it planned he's just waiting on the right crisis to come about so he can bring it out so we praying that it comes sooner rather than later okay so just be prepared now in that we're going to close out in first peter five and eight and it reads, be sober, be vigilant, okay? You got to be sober. You got to be vigilant. You got to continue to look out for these things. It says, because your adversary, the devil, you know, those, he want, he, he, he's looking to chump at you with his teeth. As a roaring lion, walk of about, seeking whom he may devour. And two-thirds of our people are going to get devoured by this devil, this devouring, you know, this roaring lion. So, you know, continue to stay sober and vigilant and during to the end, if it be the most high will, you know, hope, I pray somebody was able to get something from this. And until the next time, if it be the Lord's will, stay strong, stay in the faith. We almost home. Shalom.